There are some challenging moments in our society at the moment. We know, we've seen in the media. Uh, there are some ugly moments on buses and public transport, for example, when someone is being overtly racist and aggressive. Scary times and scary uh, moments to think about what you could do about it if you were a witness. Uh, but there's lots that you can do. Um, uh, you can make a report. You can show some empathy to the victim after the event. You can even just place yourself between the aggressor and the victim uh, and take no other assertive action. You can do get confederates to join with you in saying something to the perpetrator perhaps. So there's all sorts of ways we can speak up and speak out and our project is attempting to uh, spread the news about what can be done safely. Uh, there's two reasons why people don't speak up or speak out, our research shows. One is afraid of becoming a target themselves and that's justifiable in some circumstances. And the second reason is because they say they didn't know what to say or do. Well, if that's the, if that's the case, we think we can help there uh, by spreading these resources. But we are certainly working not only with supporting groups, but with educational bodies as well uh, on bystander anti-racism more generally. Uh, we're engaged in an ARC linkage project with the Departments of Education in Victoria and in New South Wales to develop bystander training for primary and secondary schooling.